quick look at the HC Maker 7. It's a uh, CR10 Cologne at half the price. It's got two Z motors on it as well. And they are proper lead screws for a budget printer, which is uh, pretty decent. Now, when I set it up, it was an absolute pain in the back side to get the bed level and it turns out to get it right because if you turn the screw slightly the wing nut it uh, goes rather loose with the bed barely moving you have to move both the bottom two at the same time and again at the top to get it to actually get it where it'll only take a piece of paper i'm currently printing a clear fish which is from Thingiverse and is the smaller version that flaps about. This one took just over 40 minutes, this one's taking over two hours. This is a little control box. It's got a built-in power supply, it's supposedly mated at 360 watts. Now I've bought this off eBay and it says it'll do 100 on the bed, but it wouldn't even go past 78 when I tried doing it to 84 ABS, so the ABS wouldn't stick at all to it on it, which is a bit disappointing, but I'm not a fan of ABS anyway, PLA is cheap enough. Direct extruder, which is better because I have some flexible filament once I get that to print properly. I've not got the bed for some reason didn't seem level when that were doing it but it's working fine on this particular one now the size of it is supposedly 315 by 315 by 415 that's what it says in the user guide for setting it up but it's only got a config file for slicer which i don't use slicer and uh, i'll use the it's cure uh, slap this cure is slicing but it's on that pose and uh, apart from the cock up with the getting the bed level it's so far it doesn't seem too bad at printing now it's actually printing correctly I did a 10mm test cube and that printed out it was only a fraction of a millimetre over 0.4 over which isn't too bad now the problem with this is as you're putting it together, everything else is labelled apart from these two parts. On there it's actually got some writing, so I thought, oh, I'll plug it into that one. Yeah, I plugged it in, but the hot end wouldn't get hot. So I had to shut it all down, plug it into the rear one, and it started working fine. In the manual it only shows you how to wire up the actual main printer, not the uh, control box. It's a... Uh, Seems quite big. It, it does vibrate a bit, I, that's why you can see I've had to mount it onto the wood and hold it down with electrical straps as we call them in the UK. You get some uh, spare parts with it which is stashed down there at the moment. The uh, bed belt was quite loose so I had to tighten that up with the adjuster window there. And then I'll just cobble together the wires and I'll be making a proper mounting for it. And I've got a bulb on it at the moment. Obviously, if I print anything higher, I won't be able to print anything higher. <laughs> because it'll get in the way of the print head. But that's just temporary while I'm doing this small fishing. Test the pin from break it in as such. Make sure it's running fine. But the currently retail on eBay. Now I bought it, it was listed incorrectly. It said in the description that it had auto leveling. So I paid it. But I'd also asked the question if it had auto leveling to a couple of sellers. And they said no, it hadn't. So I'm actually getting a refund of the money they've charged extra for the auto leveling feature it doesn't actually have. Now it does have a filament cooler which does work in uh, the slicing software. It just vary. Currently it's running at 50%. So prints are coming out quite well. With me other printers I've got, I've never been able to print a movable part. I've got this one which is cheap, £100 one off eBay with the hot end modification and the lead screws and then I've got a <coughs> Delta style which to be honest I can't get that set up by on PC for love the money so I thought I'd treat myself to a bigger one and so far now it's working it's uh, 
not too bad. If you notice this, it's 24 volts, but you've got all this on the top for the uh, wiring system. So that all goes to there, and then it's got its own special wiring system that goes into the actual box there, and then everything else goes into the back. You can hear what it's like. There's a fan running in the power supply, but it still gets quite warm to the touch on the side. The fan's mainly running when the bed's on, because the bed takes a while to actually heat up. But I've noticed this is a, a rebrand of another machine, and that states that it'll only, the bed will only go to 80 degrees Celsius, so the listing for it is wrong on the uh, eBay site in the UK. But uh, it's got glass that's smoothed on the edges, but obviously I've put the uh, blue tape on it to help things adhere to it. It was adhering to the glass, but uh, it seems to be better with the glass on it. It did also come with a glue stick. Hey. Now this file I'm currently printing is what was came with the uh, printer on the 4 gig full size SD card. So I um, thought I'd give it a go and I actually rather like it so I've decided to do the bigger one. We've got the uh, like I said, twin motors, copper lead screws. There's no filament detection system on it so if it stops it stops. Down now I did notice the uh, 3D printed parts for the belt to hold it to the trolley as I'll call it. One of the screws isn't quite, well bolts isn't quite in properly and the nut is supposed to be in the plastic but it isn't or whatever it's made out of. And uh, I've only done a few prints and it's gathering dust on it already. Oh. This switch you had to mount on. You pay all this money out for a printer and it comes with acrylic parts, which is a bit of a disappointment. This side is acrylic, and then that side is acrylic, and then it's got two more acrylic parts at the top that hold the lead screws. The uh, switch there for the night was an absolute nightmare to set up as well. Tonight. There's a screw that goes into the bottom and then into the main bar and then these are just supplemental supports. This one is uh, like a T-shape, but uh, it does vibrate quite a bit. I've actually let it vibrate off the uh, my worktop, which was a bit annoying. But all in all, it's now it's working. It's uh, I'd say it's worth the money. If it keeps working properly anyway. The only problem with this is because it's got such a well odd hot end etc. I don't know what it's gonna be like for the getting parts for it. Obviously you can get 24 volt heaters etc. That shouldn't be too much of an issue. It also comes with the files to print off a new uh, blower for the filament and also some other parts that I think cover the whole unit as well so you can cover it up so that's not too bad and that was on the supplied SD card and then you've got the uh, annoying acrylic holder for the filament which had the uh, paper on which was a nightmare to get off like they all are but luckily the control box didn't have the paper on the thing so that was a bit better <laughs> That's a quick look at the HC Maker 7 CR10S clone 3D printer. Thanks for watching.